Hi everybody, I'm Eric King. Uh, here at Northeast Christian Church, I mentioned on beautiful Brownsboro campus, you know, we come out here about once a month to really get some insight on all things Love the Ville and how the team here at Northeast Christian is really leading this massive uh, movement is what we'll mm -hmm. call it. It's not an effort anymore. It's a full on movement. This obviously is not Claudia Coffey. Yeah. I've got a special <laughs> guest today, um, Melinda Jevedin. You are mm -hmm. the care pastor. Yes. And thank you for helping me phonetically pronounce your last yeah, name. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's nothing worse than uh, dishonoring somebody by, <laughs> by getting their name wrong. But welcome. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have this opportunity today. As I mentioned before the show, this is a, a show that I can come out and do for mm. three or four hours because you guys have so much going on and you're doing so much in the community in mm. unique and innovative ways. Mm. Uh, but let's start with you since, sure. since, since this is your first time <laughs> sitting with me here. Uh, kind of introduce yourself and talk about yeah. what a care pastor actually is. Yeah, sure. So um, my name is Melinda. I've been here at Northeast um, attending for about 12 years and then 10 years ago came on staff and have served in a variety of different roles, but currently serve as our care pastor. And what that really means is I do everything that I can with the team that I have to care for the our church family care for the people who call Northeast their church home. And so on the good days and on the really bad days when unexpected um, suffering or crisis hits, that's when we want to show up and love our people best. And so uh, that's my job is to just be really aware of the, the pulse of our church family and who's um, who's having a hard time and who we can love on throughout the week. So. You really took the 50,000 yeah. foot view there <laughs> because I, from the way you describe it, I'm looking, I, I'm picturing your job description on paper and it only has three bullet points but that, right, that, that right. can't possibly be true yeah. because the need <laughs> right. uh, Melinda is so great talk Absolutely. about some of the things uh, and obviously mm -hmm. we're going to talk about mental health and we'll dive into that mm -hmm. as the show goes on but the needs right now are mm -hmm. so great absolutely and I think one of the the um, heaviest pieces of, of my individual role over the last year and a half has been those who are grieving and who have um, felt a loss of any kind and really trying to figure out in the midst of COVID and all the restrictions that come with that how to help people um, walk through their grief and not feel alone and not feel isolated, um, especially when some of that loss has been due to COVID and just really trying to make sure we do the best that we can to love people through what feels like impossible days and times. And that's so important because mismanaged grief can lead to so many Absolutely. other things. Um, the Love the Ville movement is really the, the, um, mm -hmm. the big force behind the mm -hmm. work that you do. Absolutely. And for people who might be tuning into mm -hmm. this for the first time and who might be unfamiliar, talk us through what the Love the Ville movement is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we really desire for Love the Ville to be a lifestyle for anyone who is a part of our church family. Um, it looks like unleashing the love of Jesus every day, everybody, everywhere. I'm um, just making sure that we're constantly looking for opportunities to just bring light to the darkness, which is all around us in our world right now, and um, doing our part to live more like Jesus did. And sometimes that looks like um, in the tiniest, smallest moments of someone's life, just showing up and knowing that they're loved. So we know that September is national, and I want to get this right, National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Yes. And actually October is National Depression and Mental Health Screening mm -hmm. Month. So it's very timely to have a conversation yeah. about mental health. Mm -hmm. um, as we move toward the rest of our show, mm -hmm. give us a preview of some of the things that, that we're going to talk about, how Northeast Christian is really stepping, stepping in Absolutely. to help some of the people struggling. Yeah, I think um, mental health has been something that over the last five or so years we've tried to as a church um, continue and you bringing out of the darkness and COVID kind of magnified that need even more so. And so uh, we will talk a little bit about just our emphasis with our staff and our responsibility of being um, emotionally and mentally healthy um, so that we can help the people in our church family uh, reach that point as well and how messy and complicated that can be sometimes and how it's never um, an easy process, um, but that we as a church desire to just walk alongside people as they're facing mental health challenges and equipping people to know how to walk alongside the people in their life who are facing those challenges as well. And it's very timely, as we mentioned, the, the National Month of September and October mm -hmm. and the work that, that you've noticed, particularly in the last mm -hmm. five years. But even for people completely unfamiliar or outside this community, mm -hmm. the number of athletes, the number of public figures that have stepped forward and say, hey, I struggle with this. Yes. So that's why I'm really excited to talk mm -hmm. about this. So, so Melinda, uh, I hope you are ready for, yes. for, for a good conversation for <laughs> the next hour. And I hope you all are ready for uh, a great conversation as well. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk more about mental health, how COVID has infected it, 
and how the team here at Northeast Christian in its effort to love the bill is helping to combat it. We'll be right back.